Welcome to the Marion County Sheriff's Office Newsroom. I'm Laurel Latillier here with your daily crime report, First to Five. We have a very special guest here in the studio with us today, Major Terry Brevard, who is over the Bureau of Homeland Security and Professional Standards. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. And it Good sounds like a lot of stuff that it you're is. in control of. Yeah, it is. It's, Tell it's us a little lot. about what you do. Well, what we really do is, uh, believe it or not, we kind of fight terrorism and uh, and we kind of deal with, uh, you know, um, hurricanes and tornadoes and things like that. And then we make sure the agencies pretty much, we do the things we say we're going to do. In other words, if we're, a unit has a particular thing that they say in their internal manual they take care of, we come in and we look to make sure that they're doing what they say. Cool. Uh, Major Brevard, you have a uh, kind of a specialization in, mm -hmm. in terrorism and, and you've worked with the FBI, you have a lot of clearances everywhere yeah. tell us a little about you know some you of know, the stuff you do i was lucky you know right after right after 9 11 you know is when this really kind of thing started and i was one of the few individuals that kind of realized that you know my my role as a law enforcement officer is going to change and that you know what we would be doing from this point forward uh, really would be different and, uh, and i think uh, the agency recognizing that change you know we, we put our best foot forward in fighting terrorism so you know, since, since the event on 9-11, you know, we've done a lot of things to help make uh, Marion County and not only us, but our region of the state, plus the state of Florida and America, you know, safer today because uh, of the things that we do. And uh, it's one of those things that you really can't measure. Uh, a lot of things have happened here. A lot of things we can talk about, some we can't, and, yeah. uh, unfortunately. But um, it does require security clearances, like you said. Uh, those are hard to get, and, uh, you know, once you get them, uh, you... you it removes barriers that prevents people from discussing things with you. Not only do you have to handle that, you also have to prepare the county for possible severe weather disaster, sure. yeah. hurricane stuff. Yep. And then you have the professional standards, mm -hmm. which is the accreditations, the grants. But you have some pretty good news there in the standards part with yes, the accreditations. Yes, we do. We've actually had a very good year here at the Marion County Sheriff's Office. You know, the Marion County Sheriff's Office this year alone has actually passed uh, several major accreditations, uh, mm -hmm. not only in the law enforcement side of the house, but both at the corrections. And we just finished our Prison Rape uh, Elimination Act. Uh, um, standard so Which we talked about yesterday we did and uh, in each one of those we've actually passed higher than we've ever passed before so this That's is amazing the, it is this is the first time in the Marion County Sheriff's Office that I know of we've ever actually scored 100% in all those standards awesome. and very few agencies make that very and you few. used to be over the jail so you I was know. I was and cool. uh, for two years I ran the jail you know jails a, a city amongst itself and <laughs> uh, you know there's a lot going on over there so, you know, it's uh, it's always something happening. So, awesome. Well, always. this is your first crime report. I wonder yeah. if you can handle this. What do you think? Well, I mean, you try. can handle a lot of other stuff, but are you ready for this? I think I'm ready. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. you wanna go first? No, you go. Okay, okay, are you sure? I go, ready. Here we go. All right. As you know, it's Tournament Tuesday, and thank you for joining us for Tournament Tuesday. Good. Today we're spotlighting Dustin Michael Bright. He is 32 year old, 32 years old, six feet tall, 180 pounds. He is wanted for aggravated battery on a pregnant person. If you have any idea on where he is, please call the Marion County Crime Stoppers at 368 STOP and reference 1579 in your tip. And now on to the rest of your, of your crime report yet again. We're starting off with unlocked vehicles. Side note there, we have our bill back as you can see. The investigation on who hid it in the newsroom from us, which we searched today more thoroughly. It's still an ongoing. Anyway, someone entered an unlocked vehicle, parked at a home at Guava Pass Trace. Once inside, they sold two speakers, an amplifier, an LED light bar, and a speaker box. Estimated value of the stolen, stolen items is $675. Well, we have another unlocked vehicle, which happened to be a 2001 Ford Econoline van. Now, the keys were left inside this vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, from a storage area on the top of the world. That's located on Southwest 88th Street. Inside the vehicle were numerous tools with total loss value of $2,800. And folks, we know leaving your vehicles unlocked, keys in it, is just not the right thing to do. 
Lock your doors. Keep what's yours. That's right. All right. Between June 30th and July 6th, someone broke into a storage shed in the Del Webb community in Summerfield. A Kubota blower and a Ryobi tool set were stolen from inside the shed. Total loss is $420. The next one we have is a home, the 3300 block of Southwest 128th Street. Or road actually was broken into once inside. Someone stole a PlayStation 3, cash, a glass smoking bomb, and marijuana. Now, we would prefer you not have marijuana, <laughs> uh, but in this particular case, the loss was total $850. I don't know if that included the cost of the marijuana. I don't know. It did? It did. It did. Someone stole a blue 2004 Yamaha dirt bike from the open car port of a home in the 2200 block of Southwest Highway 484 for a total loss of $900. On June 1st, a victim parked a 6 foot by 10 foot open utility trailer on the property of the 11,700 block of Southeast 84th Avenue in Bellevue. When he returned on July the 6th, he noticed it was stolen. The trailer was valued at $600. That's all we have for today. See, it was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Yeah, all right. Well, please like us and share us on Facebook. And thank you, Major, for joining us today. This no was problem. delightful. We'd love to be here. And Great um, to have you. The only you. thing we can leave you with is that, as usual, if you see something, say something. Mm -hmm. And with, you know, the 4th of July, everything was so heightened. It was. You know, with, with all the potential threats coming in, it's, you know, I can only imagine that it's going to continue. We're going to probably get those alerts again. You know, we live in different times and mm -hmm. today, you know, we can't be everywhere. So the community is important and Very we need so. the community's input when they do things. So that's why we always say, if you see something, say something. Great. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.